We're two weeks out from early voting for the March primary and before heading to the polls, do you know what to expect on the ballot? THV 11's Rebecca Brown spent the day getting the details and has more on what you need to know. These are just the instructions for the voter so they can read that and then press start voting. Anytime you hear the word election, the first thing that comes to mind is probably presidential, but there's a lot more at stake in the March 5th primary in Arkansas. It's very important that everybody participate in the primary election because that decides who the candidates are that will be on your general election ballot in November. Which includes your Senate races, state representatives, and all the way down to the Justice of Peace. So Amanda Dickens, the election coordinator for Pulaski County, says it's not something you want to miss out on. All those local races matter way more than the presidential race would for you. They can vote in the Republican primary or the Democratic primary. And if they don't want to vote in either of those, they can vote in the nonpartisan judicial general election which is just the judges. Over the course of the presidential campaign, we've seen a lot of changes with candidates dropping out of the race. But Dickens says the ballot you'll see in the next two weeks doesn't reflect those changes. The following was happening back in November. And so once that list is certified to us, all of those names have to go on the ballot. And then we immediately start printing the ballots for absentee purposes. So those names will still appear for you on the ballot. Dickens says over the years, their offices have seen a significant increase in primary voter turnout, and she hopes to see that again this year. You know, you need to look at it. You need to research it, decide which candidates you're going to vote for, or if there's any issues on the ballot, you need to research that ahead of time as well. And that way, when she, once you get there, you can just go in the voting booth and vote and be done. In Little Rock, Rebecca Brown, THV 11 News.